really, 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 very, very, so very sorry. I haven't uploaded a video in two freaking weeks. I know, it was just the end of summer, and I was trying to finish off my summer, and I was like, I have to record, I have all these things planned, and I didn't record any of it. But, I want to bring you guys my August favorites. Personally, I felt that August was like a normal, decent amount of time of month. It wasn't that bad, but I do have a lot, a lot of favorites. Just as a warning, a lot of this is skin products because it's been hot. It's like, I was going to film outside today, but it's like 98 and it's really just, it's horrible. It's like 80% humidity and it's gross. So let's just get into my favorite video. Okay, so of course this is an oldie but goodie. The Urban K Primer Potion. You guys know what this is. I have the original one with the doe foot applicator. I'm too lazy to go out and spend more money when I already have all this product. I, as you guys most have probably have seen, if not... I went to Lollapalooza, I will link the video down below of my like outfits of the day kind of thing, lookbook, and it's hot, I mean you figure it's a concert and I'm outside all day, and I've been doing a lot of outside kind of things because it's like summer. This has definitely helped my eyeshadow and specifically my eyeliner, I use liquid liner, and it makes it stay on all day. I totally got to backtrack a little bit to the end of July, beginning of August, I was definitely sleeping over a lot of my friends' houses and I wasn't taking care of my face, I was just leaving my makeup on and not washing my face and I have very sensitive skin so I broke out and then I went to Lollapalooza that weekend and since I was breaking out I had to put a ton of like concealer on and foundation and it was 98 degrees outside without the humidity and it was clogging my pores and then I tried to like cover that up but it was still clogging my pores because it was so bad so I had to keep putting makeup on it and it was just like a snowball effect so it eventually came down to where I had to go to the dermatologist kind of thing and get that all taken care of, which it's gotten a lot better. But these were the products I found on my own that totally helped me, and I just want to let you guys know about them because these have instantly become favorites. I use them the entire month, and I can see a difference in my face just from me screwing with it by accident. And these have these products have helped out so much. And the first one, I will rave about. I will tell you everything good about this product. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I am not a big primer fan for foundation. This, I kid you not, I wore this to Lollapalooza and my makeup stayed on all day. It rained. I went to the Renaissance Fair and it rained there and my makeup stayed on all day just because of this primer. It is amazing. And it has the weirdest feeling to it. Ooh, I just dropped the kit. But when you like, it's just clear. And then when you put it on your hand, it's oil free but it feels so oily and weird. It's like scaly. It doesn't have a scent or anything and it leaves your skin so smooth but it's like a really weird consistency. I just have the trial size because I got it in like a sample, but I totally am going to go out and buy the full size Smashbox once I'm around to this. And you figure I've used this almost every single day in August just because it's been hot and it works really, really well to keep my makeup on and I haven't even used a third of it. I've barely used anything. Like, you, can, you can't even see how much I use. Like, that little itsy bitsy air bubble is all I use. Because a little bit goes a long way with that stuff. And then I was like, I need a new concealer. I'm almost out of my concealer. My skin was flaking. It was absolutely horrible. This was the worst acne I've ever had. TMI, sorry. So I needed a new concealer. I thought about getting the MAC one, but I heard a lot of reviews of it breaking people out, and I have really sensitive skin, so I did not want to take the chance. But everyone said a good dupe for that is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. And this was only like $5 at Walmart, and then I had like a $2 off coupon. And... And as you can see, it does not blend in with my skin at all. And I got it in light, because usually I'm light, because I'm kind of pale. But this was horrible with my skin, because you know, it's a drugstore. You can't test them out there. And I definitely recommend going a color darker. It was only like light, medium, and dark. So I was like, oh, I'm obviously light, because usually I'm like classic ivory in foundation or light. And it was just light, medium, dark. And I was like, oh, that's going to be way too like dark if I go medium. But... Light is way too light. I love the concealer. It's just way too light for me, so I also have to mix this in with the tinted moisturizer. Not a big deal, but I definitely really recommend this concealer for a cheap, cheap, cheap alternative. Next up is a daily facial cleanser I've been using. And this is the Neutrogena Visibly Bright. And I just really like how this smells. And it makes your skin look so much brighter, and it brings so much energy to your face. And it doesn't break me out, and that was really something... I need it, and I really, really like this product. And it just says, skin looks brighter and less tired, which is exactly what every girl wants. 
So for a spot treatment, I have been using the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. I never even used spot treatment until Megan was at I no mentioned this and I was like, her skin kind of sounds like mine. I should try it because my acne was just getting horrible and I was trying to do everything by myself and I couldn't. I needed prescriptions and all of that. But this has worked wonders. If I get an itsy bitsy little zit, a white head or anything, put it on, it's gone. And it like burns. So you think it like it's gonna like kill you because it burns. But it actually doesn't. It just like you're like, oh yeah, that burn feels so terrible, but you know, it's just cleaning out those pores. And it smells like apples. It really reminds, reminds me of the smell of apples. So I really like this a lot. It's like six bucks and it's just really worth it. And then for a moisturizer, I use the Origins one. I forgot what it's called. It's just the Origins one. I mentioned it before. And it feels really heavy. And I, I really like the moisturizer because it definitely moisturizes my face. But it's just been feeling really heavy. And I kind of felt like it was more of a wintry kind of moisturizer. And then I got the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath moisturizer. These are like all sample sizes. And I absolutely love, love, love this. I cannot read about this anymore. It's amazing. A little bit goes such a long way. It's so light and fresh and I can just feel my face just being moisturized, but it's light. So I don't feel like I have this huge, thick consistency on my face. If you guys want to do it for this moisturizer, please let me know because this is like $45 for a full size and I really don't want to spend $45 on a moisturizer, but I do really, really like this one. Quick, I forgot. This has been a lifesaver, and I will talk about this really quick, and it is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It's just a setting spray. You just, you know, squirt it on your face. And it's only $2, $3, $3. $3 at Target, and it is with aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. Also, this combined with this are like a dynamic duo. They are going to conquer the world together, and I will count on that. I love these two together. It just, they make an unstoppable pair, and my makeup does not come off or streak or smear anything with these two. And for some random, random August favorites, purse has been this one. I love this purse to death. I've been using it so much because, like I said, I've been going to a lot of concerts and outside activities, and I don't want to juggle along my huge coach one. So I've been using this one, and I love it because it has a compartment up front. Oh, there's a receipt in here. Where did I go? Where's the last place you went? I went to Mars's Cheese Castle in Wisconsin and got some cheese. That's in here. There's so many pockets. It's just like you got a pocket here, you got a mirror here. There's like an inside. And then the back, this is where your money is. And then you put a checkbook, even though I don't write checks. This is your cell phone. And it's just a crossbody. And there's so many good things about this purse. I used it for La Palooza. I absolutely loved it. I used it again at the Renaissance Fair. I really, really loved it. And it's just been super duper nice. As for favorite song of the month, definitely I will link this down below because it's by My Summer Jam. Avicii, Silhouettes. Oh, it's so good. I will link it down below because it's amazing. I saw him at La Palooza and ever since then that song has just stuck with me and it's really good. Very sorry about being terribly behind on YouTube videos. I will not be behind anymore because i got a few tricks up my sleeve. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!